Okay, so let's start off. Let's start off with the batteries. You see these batteries here? I'm gonna put a little closer. All right, that is the battery. This is a 5 volt battery. This is what I've been able to find used the most. I got a 12 O battery here, and uh, these are 6 O, 6 O, and then so yeah. So I got a 5, a 12, and two 6 O's. Now you see these here. What is this here? This is not a part of the battery when you buy a battery. You see this here? I just took it off. Now I put it back on. But the reason I have this, you see that USB port right there? It allows me to uh, to charge my computers, my camera equipment, and if I want to put like a USB type light, I can. And the reason I have that is because, hey, if there's a hurricane and the power goes out, I want to minimize the use of this generator here inside the house so and i don't want the kids and everyone fighting for oh i don't have a battery for my charger and my charger's not gonna work i want everybody to leave me alone so i give them one of these here go ahead and charge your phone hook it up download all your stuff that you had already prior to the storm and it gives me multiple purposes you know when i don't need to put it i, I gotta put it on a light per se i put it on and i have you know dual use all right the whole idea with what I'm using here is multiple use things to make my life simpler. I am in the boat world, right? So my passion is inflatable boats. So I come over here, take this off. I want to fill up one of my tubes. Okay. All right, so I don't want to use it anymore. I put, I get it, I put it back, wait a second, well, this one's going to fall, so I might as well get this one. I come here, I need light in the house, this is good to have actually on the boat too, I like to have a backup light, this goes and fits easily in any of my lockers, if I want to have, and not depend so much on my actual batteries of the boat, I can go ahead and have this, it's going to light up a lot, okay, so you're not going to see it now during the day, because it's obviously the day. Uh, if I'm uncomfortable and it's hot, go ahead, slide my battery in here. See that? See my, hey, oh man, that feels great. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so actually, you know what? We might as well leave that on, right? It's actually good. So it, it has three settings. I got two of these. Forget about the kids at this point. You put one on your side, one on your wife's side, and you're good. All right, forget about the kids. Let them sweat all night. They gotta, they gotta suffer a little bit, so they're not weak human beings later. Um, now, Ego. So, I bought a trimmer to trim these trees, these ficuses, and I was like, wow. At first I thought it was like, wow, this thing's gonna suck. But, you know, I, my perception was that, it, that everything electric was going to be a problem it was going to, it wasn't going to be reliable it wasn't going to last it wasn't going to be powerful or strong enough you know what my mindset has changed on that so i have the trimmer i ended up getting the weed eater and i also have a milwaukee weed eater now i'm going to compare both and which one whichever one i think is easier and most practical for what i use i'm going to keep one of them um the ego power pack system the thinking behind that is when these, there's hurricanes or things um, when I'm not around, I hate getting that call. Hey, so-and-so happened. Can you come fix it? I'm focused on trying to be out, trying to make money because, you know, you got to make money to, 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 to live. So I'm saying, hey, go ahead and start the generator. Oh, well, we can't crank it to start it. That's already a problem for me. It, it can have a battery you know switch that you turn it on maybe the battery died now i'm on a mission okay so i do have a a, a, a hundred three thousand is generator inverter per se it's a very good generator it starts easy for me but my thinking behind all this stuff is can my nine-year-old or can my 10-year-old do it while i'm not around you know because i don't want to inconvenience myself or others at the moment um one of the things i like about Milwaukee I have the ability to go ahead and charge all this boom 
six batteries at one time technically if i wanted to i can i have this put six of these batteries charge them with my generator have lights for one night and also i can go ahead and get that ego pack which i can run my refrigerator my tv and maybe another light but i don't even use lights for that system my lights are all with this here okay with my milwaukee tools um so i'll have an area i already did it i already did like a mock run in my house you know i turned everything off and if you see here i also have the chargers for the ego batteries so the ego system this ego system here will charge all four batteries but it takes a long time so i don't want it to be something that's going to take a long time i want to go ahead and charge it as fast as possible so i have these chargers i could technically put these chargers on the gas generator and eventually you know put this here the the good thing i like about these ego batteries is i could take them off as as they wear out and in this case i'm going to start taking these batteries and taking them out of here because the death of any type of battery is heat so you don't you want to prevent them from being in hot environments okay so now i could theoretically put these smaller ones these are 2.5 amp put it on here as it's going my two-year-old my five-year-old my seven-year-old could do that okay well maybe not my two-year-old i don't have a two-year-old but my, my grandson is about to be too soon i'm gonna get the i'm gonna get these and put these away right now i'm gonna put them in an area where there's not but the idea behind going electric for me especially now more than ever because right now we're dealing with this whole scenario with this whole pandemic and all that stuff is i want to minimize the amount of occurrences that i have to interact with people it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me because of what i do as far as book reviews and stuff like that but having that said anytime i can minimize me putting myself at risk is obviously a benefit i can protect myself i can put my mask my gloves all that good stuff but this right here doesn't i don't have to go to a gas station now touch a dirty pump that could be infected by hundreds of people that put gas in their car now i could just go ahead and charge it myself boom so let me put this away and i'm going to start showing you how i use each in this system so you guys can see exactly how it's all utilized in a real world scenario and what my real expectations were like i didn't know before i had this system how long is it going to power my how long is it going to go ahead and power my, my my refrigerator which is i don't want my food to spoil um, and if I'm in the middle of a hurricane, more than likely I'm going to have my shutters on. I'm not going to go ahead and be able to put my, my gas generator on because it'll kill everybody because of the carbon monoxide. But I still want to have access to power. Maybe I can go ahead and start editing some videos already with this system. So, dual purpose, multi-purpose. Um, this right here, if you have an inflatable bug, you definitely need to have it. You can use it to go ahead and blow leaves and just has multiple purposes. Um, so let's go ahead and start showing the real world application of this stuff and uh, let's put these batteries away because remember heat kills batteries all right so let's talk let's first start talking about how i use you see this here let me take it off let me take it off real quick and i'm going to show you exactly how this thing works all right stop look stop looking at my big nose i saw you it's, it's crooked all right so here's your battery all right Remember, on all Milwaukee batteries, you have a little indicator here that you press. You won't be able to see it now, but it's lit up, and it'll show you how much battery you have. I like that. Here is the Milwaukee power source. It's very simple, guys. Now this, what I like about this is that, for instance, if I can't go ahead and take this on a plane or something, and I'm, I'm, I'm traveling locally, I can go ahead and go to any Home Depot, anywhere in the country and i can go ahead and buy it, it doesn't have to be this 5 it could be a 2 it could be a 7 whatever it may be put it get my thing now i have a charging source wherever i go if i can't take these um with me for whatever reason maybe i don't want to have a lot of weight I, I don't care um very very good useful thing now if you see here i'm gonna i have my phone you can't really tell right now what's going on but yeah it's kind of bright but there's a picture and i i put it in well backwards there it goes now 
let's see where I'm at I am charging um, I'm charging my phone right now it says I have 69% so we'll leave it charging there let's talk about the blower this little thing is is incredible especially if you want to inflate things look how small this is guys this right here it actually has an extension but i don't use the extension on it so it'll be a little bit longer like up to here i use this to inflate a lot of my rigid inflatable boats inflatable boats have a certain particular valve that you need to go ahead and use that garbage truck it's about i just want to get this right here and just but I can't do it. It's like the fourth time he does this to me and I'm not gonna go ahead and re-edit this. That's it, I'm done. So having that said, now that the truck driver left, very simple, you put it on. Now, when I opened the valve, I pressed the valve on my inflatable boats, he came back. Oh, now he has a friend. Please, please give me, all right. Sorry about this guys. I'm not gonna edit this again. Having that said, open the valve, leave it open. Now it's the parrot in the background. Pa que fue esto, my God, what is this guy? What is it? This is why YouTube is hard. Guys, all the links down below for this stuff are down here. This is real stuff. All right, take 47. I'm not gonna edit this. I'm not gonna edit this. All right, so open the valve, turn it, and leave it open. And then this will inflate. Um, I got a small little pool there inflatable pool for the for, for my grandson i know I'm, I'm a grandfather it took me five like not even two minutes with this stuff okay i would have taken three days a headache if i had to do it by mouth or use one of those little pumps okay you already have the, the the battery so if you have the battery you could little by little start accumulating the stuff that you're going to need um here's my experience with the charger six okay six see there's one two there's two on okay and two on on the ends so you can charge six batteries with this what i like about this is that i can put them go to sleep forget about it it'll charge them one of the things i have noticed if the battery is really dead remember i'm getting a lot of these batteries second hand from people that i didn't use them that are whatever so they're completely dead they can be brand new batteries, so you have to kind of like boost them. This, for some reason, didn't boost it enough. So I would just go ahead and, and use the actual um, Milwaukee charger, which is the charger which will charge one of these batteries and one of these M12 batteries, all right? This is also a, a nice little tool, all right? It's uh, an impact driver. It's, it's easy. Now, this here does not charge this type of battery, so keep that in mind. Um, obviously, you get something like this if you have multiple batteries. The, the, the chargers that will come, it'll come with this and the, the, the M12 and, and the regular battery. Okay, let's talk about this ecosystem see if it works now all right let's talk about this ego power inverter um, up here up top it has its own charger it has a little storage okay this is the actual charger for this actual unit it'll charge all four batteries at once it has a little storage compartment here as well and all I have to do is hook this up here put it together and uh, Plug this in back here and plug this here and then plug this into the wall. I'm charging all my batteries. It'll charge them uh, not all at once. It, it, it does one and it does another, another, and, and, and it's kind of like that. It just does them all evenly for whatever reason. It does that. It does take much longer to charge these batteries with this. It'll do it. You know, you do it overnight, you don't have to worry, whatever. It does it on its own, it'll turn off on its own. If I wanted to, to be faster, because I'm in a scenario where, hey, listen, I need more power and I need it fast for whatever reason, I can use this. This is much faster than 
this charger here, okay? This is the standard charger that come with. I found this one over here to be much faster. So, but having that said, I have multiple of these chargers. They're a little noisy, you hear the fan, it happens. But my thinking was, hey, I got this generator down here. I can charge one, two, three, four batteries, which are four batteries, you know, pretty quick with the gas generator, come back, put this inside, and just remember, I can act actually have one of these batteries here, and I can interchange them, put them, and I'm good. I don't have to worry about anything else. So I can actually rotate my batteries and not even worry. It's just like adding fuel. You know, I'm just adding fuel with my batteries. Instead of, you know, going to a pump and putting, that's all I'm doing. Apparently the truck driver is going in circles because I just hear multiple trucks just going like that. So, um, so that's the thinking behind what I'm doing. What I like about this, obviously inside, indoors, I don't have to worry about carbon monoxide. Guys, remember, if you have a generator, for those who don't know, because you might not know, a generator, a gas generator, and the exhaust goes into your house, it'll kill you. The carbon monoxide will kill you. Um, just like if you leave your car on in the, the, the in your garage for too long, that carbon monoxide will kill you. So this, it achieves my purpose with not, with, without me worrying about that. Now, I can keep that generator down there for eight hours and not worry about anything other than it needing to be refueled when it's all said and done. Um, but here, my daughter could just press a button. She's 10 years old, nine years old, eight years old, something like that. I mean, she's under, she's under 15. We'll just say that, just in case. So she can just press the button. Now this is not too heavy. So if you're a lady or a young lady, you know, you can, it's, I mean, it's not terribly heavy. Will my nine year old be able to pick it up? No, but she can probably drag it if she had to. She can't do that to the generator if I didn't have the wheels that were on it. Having that said, those are some of the thinking. That's some of the thinking behind um, why I'm doing this. Um, it's very safe for electronics, computers. So for me, that's very important because I'm either editing, I'm, uh, I thought, I just thought, I thought Homeboy was going around again. So it's very safe for electronics and things like that. So especially like if you're on a high rise, a condo, you know, you have a balcony, you want to go ahead and, you know, run an extension cord. You don't have to worry about your neighbor freaking out, flipping out. Oh, you've got a, a generator on. He's going to kill me. Listen, you put this in your thing. Everybody else is stressing. You're there watching your little Netflix reruns or things that you've downloaded on your computer or whatever, however you want to do it. It'll give you enough time. Um, I have the 7.5 amp batteries for Ego and there's all 2.5 amp uh, batteries. Obviously, the 7.5 batteries are much better. They last a lot longer, but they are expensive. That's why I, little by little, hey, somebody's selling, you know, a blower that has a 7.5 battery. I don't care about the blower. What I'm trying to do is get the fuel, which is the battery, which is where I'm trying to preserve as much of my money as possible because if I had to buy this battery brand new it's probably a 2.5 is probably a little bit more more than a hundred dollars a 7.5 battery is almost 350 dollars maybe a little less give or take I, I mean I'll put it below but I want to minimize my my expenses if I can if I'm trying to get a lot of this stuff um, yes you can buy it new if you can do that and you have to hey this comes with Two, two 7.5 batteries, I think it's like 1200 bucks. Um, there's also a $1,699, you know, at the time of this video for five 5 5.0 batteries, 5.0, um, uh, they're all 56 volts, 5.0 5 amps, 5.0. Um, those are the things that I like about that. And having that said, remember, the generator, the gas generator, the Honda generator is very, very quiet. And I'm going to show you guys the differences of how quiet it is compared to one and the other. Because that's also, now it's a bird, now it's a bird. Um, 
you know, sometimes people want to go ahead and, and use this power and generators for very quiet scenarios or situations. This does not make any noise uh, other than a fan when it's, it needs to cool a little bit because it's, it's taking on a lot of um, voltage. Um, let's go ahead and do that test real quick so you guys can see the differences of these two units and I'm gonna go ahead and continue showing how practical. Where's my BB gun when I need it? Where's my BB gun? I mean, where's my BB gun? All right, so having that said, let's go ahead and use this a little bit more. We came to the side of my house. Um, so, I got one battery. If you look here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put, we'll, we'll just put it here on this side. There's numbers on this. It says one, two, three, four. Now, if you look here, you press the button, you have four USB hookups and you have three outlets that you can go ahead and put on. Um, this is an outdoor speaker that I have, which actually, this is broken. I don't know how that's gonna affect this. But we'll go ahead and put it anywhere. If it blows up, it'll do it on camera and we'll get a lot of views. This is my outdoor speaker setup, uh, my outdoor TV. I always put this plastic on it so far it's worked it's not the prettiest but it works i cover it with this this was a custom cover that i bought online having that said let's get this and look it up here so we have just put one battery on there's an on and off switch right here and i just turn it on i put one battery it's a small 2.5 amp battery um, it's going to process and it's going to tell you the amount of hours and minutes this could use. Remember, you can have, I can charge my phone right now if I wanted to here, right? I can put my, my thing on this USB thing. All right. So now I have to turn on and press the button for the power here. Automatically, it went from 88 and it says 10 hours and 21 minutes. My experience is that it starts fluctuating. You see up here how the TV already started? I have a Chromecast from Google out on the outside. I'm not connected to a, a box, but I can, I can go ahead and use apps that I can watch TV outside. Apps like FUBU, I mean, there's Sling, there's a bunch of them that you can use. So I'll just come out here and hang out. Okay, so I got one thing that my, my, my TV just turned on. Um, let me see. We'll go ahead and put a, a video of, I don't know, something outside. So right now it's saying one hour and 45 minutes. I'm hooked up. So right now it so says an so hour we're doing. We're the and nine TV minutes. Here with a 2.5 amp battery. Back, so let's just on. say that you wanted to tailgate. Tell oh, this guy to shut up, which is me. Let me, pause, let me pause myself. I know there's a lot of people who love to do that, but I'm gonna pause myself right now. So it's saying an hour and 10 minutes. Let me go ahead and drop another battery. Let's see what we got. Okay, I'm back. Don't worry about it. I didn't put you through that. All right, but I got a couple more batteries. So it says an hour and 10 minutes, right? You guys see that there? I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in there just in case so you guys can see exactly what's going on. All right, so let's zoom in. All right. Let's zoom in here, all right? An hour and 10 minutes. Now, Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to drop, I'm going to drop another one. So now I put another battery. It's, a it's automatically going to read it, okay? And it's going to adjust. Now I just went and it said two hours and 23 minutes. You, you, guys, you guys see that? Yeah, you're seeing that, right? That's the whole purpose of this video. I want things to be practical 
so you guys can make informed decisions. I want to make sure you guys buy this because I want to be rich, okay? And you're going to have to buy the link below so I can be rich. And if you don't do it, then I won't be rich. And that defeats the purpose of this video. So, all right. Let's continue adding. These are the 2.5 amp batteries, guys. So, say you wanted to go ahead, catch the Rona at a football game. You go, you tailgate with this, you're good. You come back, you have good memories, and you got the Rona. There you go. All right, so now it's five hours and 14 minutes I can have this TV on. So, would I want to have it on that long? Probably not. But uh, let me continue playing it. So you guys can enjoy my videos for YouTube. Boom, we're gonna give it an extra now, in the back. So it gives I know some of you guys are gonna be a little interested as far as how I'm using worry about hooks and what like I'm that. using back here. So come all the way back here. We'll close it off all the way over here. I don't have gonna match with the carbon anything fiber here and then the ball step. I don't have anything here, extra or well. special behind um, the TV to do what I'm doing uh, right now. Nice. I'm casting from my phone to here. You can do that here. through either yeah, iOS here. or Android without boom. a problem. And then boom. And, uh, uh, right, it comes back to what I was saying earlier. Yeah, Multiple yeah, purposes. Shut up, Alfred. Uh, I, uh, I just don't shut up. Bro. Back, I, I listen, I get why I get the hate coming again. Gonna, Sometimes I know myself. It's 80% of the time. I like myself about 20% of the time. Put it back on there and then we'll start working it again. Come on. Uh, this is good. Okay. This is good stuff, man. All right. I'm going to pause this. All right. But now, my wife just told me I got to go ahead and clean the yard. So I take one off. I'm at 514. Now I'll be less. Right? I got four hours of time. Because she just stole four hours of my time. But here, I just... More than a purpose. Hey. I'm done. Put it back. I get some time back. Then she calls me and says, "Hey, I need you to paint inside the house." And I go, "What? God, I don't know who help!" Oh my God, I don't have time. Between the truck driver and my wife telling me what to do, this is useless. But for those 20 minutes that actually you can use this stuff, it makes sense. Let me go get the weed eater so I can show you guys some of the trade-offs of the weed eaters. I'm going to compare the Milwaukee and the Eagle because I've been accumulating the batteries and along the way the tools are extra because you want to leverage that if you can on the deal that you're trying to get something you know obviously if you have already the whole system or the batteries you can buy the tools brand new and you don't have to worry about that you know you get the warranty you sign up the warranty it's great in my case I wanted to get the most amount of batteries so that I can just take them off put them on I just took two batteries off now I'm at 238 I can be out here two and a half hours with my TV, you know, tailgate, whatever. Let's go back. Let's go back to the blower scenario. Um, so I have my power source here. I take it off. Here's my blower from Milwaukee. I love to use this. I love to use this for my inflatable boat because it's got this rubber handle i just open the valve put it on there it inflates it right away turn the valve shut it and then i'm good now here's the other blower for ego multi-purpose guys right. now i won't bring this on a boat because that is what you call making a scene I, and i don't want to make a scene they're gonna be like wow what a googan you know so but i will definitely take this on a boat you know i can store this here boom look how tiny it, it packs down it's, it's small you know you can fit this anywhere you got your battery hey you know what you got your power source this will fit in a locker this will fit in a small locker a dry nice little locker now you have access to charge your phone so you you know god forbid your gps and your boat doesn't work maybe you have a GPS on your phone for navigation. Guess what? Now you can charge it here with your power source. 
You know what I'm saying? If you want to take an extra battery, you can take another one. If you have another one, as a backup to this one. Multi-purpose, guys. This is what I'm trying to explain here. Um, let me show you the difference between the Ego and now, now I'm in the process of debating which of these are going to be best for me. Let me turn this here because I, I, want, I want to see exactly what you guys are seeing. Alright, so I just took off my battery. I put it here. See this? Act crazy, bro. Act crazy. Bro. Act crazy. See if I don't go ahead. And... Alright, here's, here's the other one. Simple. Slide them in. Act crazy, bro. Now, immediately the Milwaukee feels like it's more powerful. This one, when I press the trigger here, it's kind of, it feels more smooth. It gets the job done. It doesn't make as much noise. It's less noisy than, look, like, you hear this? You hear that? You're, you're hearing that, right? All right. Now, hear this. See the, the handle here? All right, hear this. It's making a scene. So, but it feels, it feels strong. Um, this will last less. Now, there's an, also an indicator to do it for less strong, okay? Which, to be fair, there, it was on the rabbit. Now, I'm going to put it on the turtle. So, it's a little less now. I'm making less noise. Having that said, oh no, there goes that. See that? Much less. All right. So, I think I will probably stay with the Milwaukee. It seems a little bit heavier. Let me see. They're about the same, you know? They're about the same. Um, if you if you look here, here's basically where the majority of the weight is. Okay, see that? So that's the difference between these two. If I had to say, because I I know I would have to change the Milwaukee battery more, faster than I will this one. Okay, the Eagle. But having that said, I want to have the power that I can you know, get through weeds that are thicker, the changing the, the, uh, the, the line is, is very simple. And uh, I think, mind you, I, this is not long-term uh, views, guys. I've been using this one for a while already and I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, they're about the same. I would say, if I had to say, this one's a, a little heavier. Multi-purpose, guys. You know what? But I want to go back. I want to charge. I want to get my hour back because they're going to go ahead and tell me now to go ahead and, I don't know, fix the sink inside. And there's that truck. Give me that damn coconut. Where's that coconut? One more thing. I want to show you the polisher that comes with the Milwaukee system. Remember, we're trying to sell you stuff here. Links below. Links below. I need to be rich. You're going to make me rich, guys. Links below. I want to show you something real quick with this Ego system while you're here. Actually, let me get the camera on top of this. I want, to, I want you guys to see something because I think it's, it's important for you guys to know that. All right. Okay. So, if you see here, these are two separate batteries. This is the newer battery right here. And that is the older battery right there. Same, same battery, okay, as far as the, the amp, it's 2.5 amps. But this has, I guess, what they call a gauge. I don't know what type of gauge they have, it, but whatever. The point is that it'll show you how dead the battery is. So you can have an idea. Even though, even though, having that said, once I am here, once I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my Ego power inverter, it'll tell me 
exactly how much battery is on each battery okay so if it's one's charging it'll show me it'll show me the output right now i got three hours and 47 minutes very similar but you see that's the beauty of this system this is why i like this all i have to do is have the battery set up and once those batteries are set up my my nine-year-old could go ahead and i'll just say hey look here's another thing that's very that 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 is very good about this particular system that i like you can download an app you can download an app and with that app you can you can see basically what's going on with your whole eagle inverter system i think 499 is the actual unit without batteries um what i would advise you is to start hunting down offer up craigslist type in the word ego and see who's selling the weed eater who's selling the blower maybe you don't have value for those things because you live on a condo but you're going to get them a lot cheaper and you want to accumulate as much of these batteries as possible so you have fuel that whenever you have a crisis all you you do is just get this it doesn't weigh anything you know just since unplug this boom and i'm i'm good i'm gone all right we got a, we got another surprise okay this here let me let me just make sure i put the screen over here because i want to see i want to see myself i got to remind myself how much weight i've gained this here is a polisher that i use This, this stuff is incredible, okay? Um, and for me, it's extremely useful because this allows me to not have a cord while I'm polishing boats. And for those that are new, I use the Pad Express system. And actually Pad Express, a gentleman by the name of Libro, gave me this system. He gave it to me. So this, I didn't purchase with my own money, but I love it. And the reason why is, where are my batteries? Where are, where are my batteries? Here, here's my batteries. Here. So, see here? I'm at 800. So, what are you doing, guy? What are you doing? Come back to Earth. There you go. Nice to see you back to earth, buddy. Tripod trying to act crazy. It's one of those days, guys. It's one of those days. Just deal with it. I'm trying to sell you something, bro. I feel like the Shamu, Shamwa guy. You guys remember that other guy back in the days? I don't know. It was some guy that was always on TV. and supposed, I think he died in his sleep. It was so sad. Okay. Multiple purposes, guys. From having a light. Oh. I brought you the normal charger so you guys can see that this is the charger that will come with most of the units you buy. So if you first buy your Milwaukee system, here's the charger that you'll get, okay? It will let you charge your M12 and your M18 batteries, alright? Put it there, your M12, which is the little drill that I had over there in the beginning of this video, alright? So, just showing you that. Now, I brought back this battery here. Um, this, this light here. This light, here's what I like and what I don't like about this light. It's pretty, I mean, it's not super heavy, but I like it to be lighter, but there's a reason why. You see here, here's what I don't like about this here. Let me see if I can show this, okay? So, okay, so, see here, I'm gonna slide it in, boom, it's on, right? But, you see how there's a little gap right here? I can use a slightly bigger battery, but my 12 amp battery, I can't use it. My 12 volt doesn't, it's worthless on this. So, I didn't like that. See, the lights are on. Now this unit, here's what I like about it. Um, I can, 
I can open it. See that? And now I can open here and I can extend it upwards. Okay? Now, I, if I want to, I lock it here. And if I want to go a little higher, I can. And we'll keep it right there. It's almost to the max height right there. But, all right. So, goes back to my hurricane prepping. But I also use this when I start filming and I'm filming outside or if I want to go and light up an area for a little while and have just battery operated stuff without running an extension cord and not being on a mission, this is why I like this. What I don't like about this particular unit is that it doesn't let me put the big battery on there. So I would have to replace it more often than I would like. Uh, I, I won't know. I know the 6.0 works on it, but I don't know if the 8.0 or, or the higher batteries will work because it just doesn't fit. It'll work, but it just doesn't fit there. You can actually also plug that in if you didn't want to use battery operated so it's good and it lights up a lot it, i mean it'll light up the whole area i'll try to put some footage of that in this video as well in that little box right here uh pad express obviously for this uh, has been a game changer for me in boats and and i'll link that as well also i actually sell that stuff on my website and i'll put a link to that too um and i ship that so when when i tell you i'm going to ship i ship it fast and you don't have to worry about that you can use it on any rotary machine it has to be rotary it can be an orbit orbital because you'll mess up the pad express uh, pad uh, pad express is basically a compound within an actual pad inside of it and it lets you polish boats and with this this is incredible stuff because it, you don't get that that cord in the way and you're like ah and all of a sudden this head just goes in the and you want to kill yourself so if you're a rookie and you don't know how to do a lot of stuff it makes you feel like wow i can i can do something yeah me so you seem like a pro that's the idea behind it okay man i'm giving all the secrets away dude i'm giving them all hey link below bro you better you better start buying link below don't go ahead and find out all the information here and then go ahead and just go and log out of here and go to home depot and buy it yourself no link below you bought it from here because you got it from me Shh. Not with you. Nah, that truck, you hear that truck right now? That's me, I'm dealing with that, not you, I am. All right, well listen, essentially, you have a leaf blower, a weed eater. With the Eagle system, you can go and actually get a lawnmower. You have the inverter system that we talked about earlier, the Eagle power source. It's there, guys. Um, multiple uses, the day of tomorrow, you had to sell it, you, you, you'll get your money back, especially if you buy it secondhand. Um, there's nothing wrong with uh, buying secondhand. Now, what I will tell you is if you do buy secondhand, make sure you're who you're buying stuff from. You know, make sure if anything smells wrong or uh, there's a red flag, uh, if it's either offer up or Craigslist or maybe even, even eBay. Maybe you don't even want to go ahead and meet up with them, but you can get stuff like that on eBay for less. You know, just look at the person's rating and see if it makes sense for you to get them. Uh, or if not, you can always get a new and you, you know, you do a whole warranty bin and that's great. You know, um, like I said, my strategy was always to get the most amount of batteries. Now I use the stuff, I see what works for me and then I get rid of it. You know, say the weed eater for the ego that I didn't like because I have two of them now. I just go ahead and get rid of one or two, however, but I'm, I'm trying to maximize the amount of items I can get for the least amount of money, uh, with it being reliable half of the people that go ahead and buy some of this stuff they don't use it so then they don't use it and then they say well you know what i just moved from this house i'm gonna go now to this condo i don't need this i don't even care about this they don't even remember what they paid for it they probably spent a lot of money on that moment for it but you know at this at that moment it doesn't they don't care so they'll said pawn shops you'll get this stuff in pawn shops all the time milwaukee um milwaukee batteries pawn shops all day fishing equipment pawn, uh Pawn shops have Eagle batteries. Look them up, guys. If you feel a little bit uncomfortable, at least a pawn shop, you can say, hey, you know, and for those of you that maybe are in other parts of the world that don't know what a pawn shop is, it's basically, it's it's called a thing jail. <laughs> when, you, when people don't have money, they take their things and they put them in jail. And then you want your things back, you gotta pay money. They give you money, your product is collateral, and they go ahead and you give the thing and you get money for your item. 
more than likely they're gonna go ahead and give you 30% of what the item is really worth so from 30% they're gonna make you know another 30 40 percent when they sell it to the end user which will still be 30 40 percent less than what it costs new so keep that in mind um that's essentially it guys you can use this stuff on boats you know have extra lights that power source to go ahead and charge your phone there's countless things that ego system eventually is going to have a, a solar panel from what they're saying that you can go ahead and have that battery system you know have a solar panel up somewhere get something and it'll charge your batteries so that's a beautiful world, beautiful thing. Um, I'm gonna end this video with the Honda um, charging all these batteries of what I've been using, okay? So that to show you guys the idea between the, hey, this battery, this, this is gonna power everything in a moment that I can't sustain my own power. You know, hurricane goes and shuts all the power because, you know, all the power is out Hey, guess what? Fine, I'm gonna be uncomfortable, but I'm gonna be less uncomfortable than most because I thought ahead, I pre-planned, I I actually did a dry run. Okay, if this were to happen, how can I get to, to this to happen? And you just do it. Once you do it, that's it, you don't have to worry about it anymore. That's it, you did it. All right, guys, you know, everybody has their job. Go get your thing, go get your battery, go charge your phone, put your light, all right, and then leave that alone. Just make sure you leave that alone. That's all I wanted to do is let, hold on a second. My wife is telling me to go paint the bathroom. I'll be back guys. All right, well, I'm gonna have to leave you guys, but I wanna thank you guys for watching my videos. I'm gonna leave here charging up all these batteries because right now I'm gonna pretend that I have to charge these batteries. And this is the reason why I have the hookup for our, my generator. Um, it's on. Turn on the fuel, choke. Okay, so it does it's not too loud, my Honda, right? But remember, I want to go ahead and charge my batteries. So we'll put my chargers on here to charge. Survive Armageddon now. Okay. You can survive Armageddon now, guys. You can do it. I'm charging everything now. Eventually, I put this away. Eventually, it gets night. I don't want to have this on all night. I put my indoor unit, which is my eco inverter, inside the house. It's not going to go ahead and create carbon monoxide or anything that's going to hurt my family or myself. I'm not going to have to worry in a time of crisis or that somebody's going to go to my yard and, and steal this you know even though if i wanted to i could put it inside my house but i'm not okay and now my neighbor is making a scene behind me you ready for tomorrow man that's my neighbor ozzy we're actually going to get back on the water now guys we're getting back on the water gonna you're going to try he's going to try guys hey this pandemic has made everybody's life miserable. I was showing them the whole generator setup that I got going and stuff. Nice. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You know how it is. Prepping for hurricane. And and, and, it's, and, and it's May 1st. All right, guys. We're out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.